to spend time in China? Yeah, I actually was in Beijing for the Olympics. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. I mean, it was an interesting time to be there too. My 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 first and only time there, and um, I I made sure I carved out like just a little time to see some sights, and I I went to. Uh, I had one bizarre moment, which is I went to the Great Wall, and I got there at like five in the morning with a buddy. We were backpacking, and it was completely deserted. It was great. It was, you know, we thought, wow, we can walk this ourselves, and and uh, there was crazy, beautiful fog everywhere. But it was just us on my I buddy think and it's I. Fog. Oh well, pollution. well, there's <laughs> pollution. There is pollution, but it was you know really early in the morning, and there was no one for miles on the Great Wall, and we were walking and walking, just having a great time, and then I see two people like come emerge from the fog slash pollution, and um, <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, two other people got up this early, and we start and we're walking towards each other, and I'm like, this is a little. Bizarre, like who, I mean, what do we do? Do we say hello? We're the only people on the Great Wall. And then, as they get closer to me, I see that it's Glenn Close. No. And her husband or partner? I'm not. I'm not sure. So, um, I mean, this is. I'm like, I've never met Glenn Close. I'm a huge fan of hers. You know, Fatal Whoops. Attraction. Like, I mean, yeah. just. But I thought, well, it wouldn't. It would be a little. Weird to say, hey, I'm a fan, you know, <laughs> like she's having her moment at the Great Wall. So we just kind of like walked by uh, a Glen Close. That's a great her tip pet. if you're in China and you want to see famous people go at 5 a.m. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they go there to not get pestered. But now we know that that's, that's the, the time. Perfect that's pestering the time. time.